portraying Dr. Glass in season two. <laughs> oh, thank you. you oh, thanks. thanks. Fantastic. <laughs> so you just had a pretty intense scene with Aster. Um, and it's somewhat of a pivotal moment in the story. So maybe you could talk about that and perhaps talk about uh, the role of Dr. Glass in the series. Sure. Um, well, I guess uh, Aster comes to see Dr. Glass after kind of going through a whirlwind of stuff in her own life, and I guess they haven't seen each other for a while, and I don't know, I guess, you know, avid ABM viewers know the tumultuous nature of what's been going on with Aster and Vivian, so I think it's, you know, Aster checking in and seeking a little bit of guidance, and hopefully Dr. Glass steers her in the right direction. <laughs> and so, have you played a therapist before? I have not played a therapist before, um, and it's a lot of fun. I actually usually sort of play people still considerably younger than myself, so it's been a real delight to play a grown-up, and um, it's nice because I think Dr. Glass has a real sort of kinship with Aster, and um, she sees sort of a little bit of a younger version of herself, so I think they have a really nice rapport. and. Um, I've had a little bit of experience with therapy, good and bad, and I think um, I certainly tried to model the good experience, and I really wanted Dr. Glass to be um, just always in Aster's corner and Aster's advocate, and um, you know, I think that there's still sort of a little bit of a stigma on therapy sometimes, so I think it's great that the show is sort of portraying how healthy and how helpful um, seeking help can be. Uh, and that it really is a lovely thing to have in your life and anybody can go. <laughs> and just the importance of having another person in your corner besides a family member or a friend that you can open up to. And um, I don't know, I just tried to make Dr. Glass somebody that we would all want to talk to, I guess. 